And we're live. Welcome back to the Mindset Podcast. This is your host, Alex Muir, helping you flex your mind, body, and soul. And today's episode 105, after a long hiatus, we're back again with another solo episode. And today's episode is about the Pomodoro Technique. What is the Pomodoro Technique, you ask? Well, the Pomodoro Technique is doing short stints of time, 25 to 30 minutes usually, or 20, 20 to 25 minute increments to help enhance your productivity. If you're someone that needs to be laser focused, get stuff done in the shortest amount of time possible. And then in the short time blocks. So we're going to dive into that on some research that I found for this episode and glad to be back for this episode. And I really haven't um, done any, I, I've had content ideas. I've just kind of procrastinated and, and um, needed a little bit of time off as well because I had too much going on. So, but again, without further ado, let's get right back into the episodes. So again, this is about the Pomodoro technique and understanding your procrastination. So procrastination is a common challenge. It's that tidal wave of avoidance that hits us when we face a daunting task. But why do we procrastinate? Often it's because the task seems too big or too complex, or we fear that we're not up to the challenge. And the Pomodoro technique, enter the Pomodoro technique. Developed in the late 1980s by Francesco Cirillo, this method breaks work into short time intervals called, called Pomodoros. After the Italian word toma tomato, which is what Cirillo used as his timer. The beauty of this technique lies in its simplicity and effectiveness in improving focus and minimizing distractions. And like all of us, we're going to encounter distractions. I myself get very distracted. Um, and, and then when I get distracted, I procrastinate and it just creates this cascade of effects. And I'm sure that many, many of you have felt the same way when you're trying to tackle a project, when you're trying to go all in on something, sometimes there's so much going on in life or work or what have you that you get distracted. So a great way to get refocused is utilizing this technique, short time sensitive, 30 to 20, 20 to 30 minute increments of time to get stuff done. So after the word for, uh, like I said, uh, tomato, which is what Cirilla uses as timer. The beauty of this technique lies in its simplicity and effectiveness in improving focus and minimizing distractions and how the Pomodoro technique works. Here's how it works. You pick a task, you set a timer for 25 minutes and work with focus attention until the timer rings. And right now I've been using just an online Google timer to work on my content, let's say for these podcast episodes. And I'll use AI to create a comprehensive list of like, let's say the next 30 days, give me 30 content ideas based on the top five ideas I've you know, used as my prompt. Now, AI is you know, really becoming on the forefront of anyone that's a creator, anyone that's trying to become a creator. Because when you're a solo creator like myself, things take a lot more time. Excuse me. And now with the help of AI, I can get way more done. And I don't know, you know which of you or or um, any of you have, have heard, you probably have heard of Meta AI. So that's Facebook, um, Instagram, AKA Meta. They have their own AI tool called Meta AI. I've been using that to help batch content for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And now I'm just focusing on YouTube, but utilizing everything that I've learned, I'm using Meta AI, Microsoft Copilot AI, and then ChatGPT, but I'm using ChatGPT a lot less because I'm noticing that it's just not always giving me the exactly what I need for my prompt that I enter. So AI is a, you know about learning how to feed it the information that you want to give it, so you get back the information that you want to help make your your let's say your process like for me making this podcast. Like I made myself a a video script to be able to make this podcast episode, so which is super helpful, right? Now, having a teleprompter and all that, I was looking into that and that's why I was kind of slacking on getting back into this episode because people want video. They want to be feel like they're immersed in your podcast, right? I love audio because it does make me sound more polished and I already know I'm a genuine person when it comes to my podcast, but 
you know, then it looks like I'm reading off a script a little bit, which I am to a certain extent. Right. But I would rather you feel like you're in the experience. Cause when you see me on video, it feels like you're in the podcast with me. So and that's what I want. So I'll, I'll, I'll compare and contrast the audio version of this podcast. When I publish it, I'll do both and I'll do a post for the video as well. So you have, you guys will have be able to see both versions. So again, let's keep going about this technique. Cause it's a super powerful technique that I've been using to get more of the projects that I want to get done. So I get more content out for you guys and so you could, you know, keep, keep growing with me as I grow the podcast, as I grow my content. And now I'm mainly focused on YouTube. So again, we'll just keep going, but I will, I will uh, go on little tangents as we go along as well. Um, so yeah, where were we? How the Pomodoro tech uh, technique works. Here's how it works. You pick a task, you set a timer for 25 minutes and work with focus attention until the timer rings. Then you take a short break of about five minutes. So again, 25 minutes of work, timer's off, five minute rest. After four Pomodoros, which again, that would be what, 60 minutes? Yeah. You take a longer break of 15 to 30 minutes. This cycle helps prevent burnout and keeps your motivation high. Because it's so, such short stints of time, you're going to be more, more more motivated. And again, you can't rely solely on motivation because motivation wanes over time, right? You're going to lose motivation. But this behavior is what can lead to more consistent progression towards your goals, you utilizing this sort of productivity technique. So doing that cycle of the Pomodoros, four Pomodoros, I normally do two to three right now, Pomodoros. That's what I've been doing to batch process my work, my, my uh, content creation. And then the science behind this technique, but does this technique really work? Studies show that using the Pomodoro technique can lead to a 27% decrease in task interruptions and a significant boost in productivity. It's not just about working hard. It's about working smart because we're all busy. We all got a lot going on, but it's finding ways to minimize the disruptions, minimize the distractions. And this is a great way to say, to stay honed in and focus on what, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish implementing the technique, but does it really work? Oh, that we already talked about that. Implementing the Pomodoro technique to get started. All you need is a timer. You can use a traditional kitchen timer, your phone or a Pomodoro app. The key is to work without interruption during those 25 minutes, no checking emails, no social media, just pure focus on the task at hand. Tips for success. Here are some tips to make the Pomodoro technique work for you. Number one, be realistic about what you can achieve in each 25 minute block. Number two, use your breaks to recharge, stretch, take a walk, or do something enjoyable. Number three, keep track of your Pomodoros to see your progress over time. And number four, if you find 25 minutes is too, too short or too long, adjust the time to suit your workflow overcoming challenges. Some days starting can be the hardest part. The Pomodoro technique encourages you to take the first step, commit to just one Pomodoro. Often once you start, you'll find it easier to keep going. And conclusion, the Pomodoro technique isn't just about getting your more done. It's about working in a way that's sustainable and fulfilling. It's a tool that can help you turn procrastination into progress. One Pomodoro at a time. And that's all for today's episode on the Pomodoro Technique. I'm your host, Alex Muir. And again, this is the Mindset Podcast, helping you flex your mind, body, and soul. I hope you found these insights helpful. Try out the Pomodoro Technique and let us know how it goes. Until next time, keep ticking those tasks off your list. And remember, a tomato a day keeps procrastination at bay.